hey what's up guys welcome back to kelvin's kitchen today we're making orange chicken better than takeout for this recipe we're using two pounds of boneless and skinless chicken thighs you may trim most of the excess fat then Cut them into bite-sized pieces, about one to one and a half inch cubes. Now, in a large mixing bowl, add in three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of salt, and one teaspoon of white pepper. Then whisk to incorporate. Once incorporated, add in one large egg, about one and a half to two cups of water. Then whisk to combine. We want the batter to look like a pancake batter. If you need to add more water, do so in small increments until you get it to the right consistency. Once the batter looks like a pancake batter, then it is ready for the chicken. Then add the chicken to the batter and toss until evenly coated. Now cover the chicken and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. Now, in a saucepan over medium heat, add in half a cup of orange juice, followed by half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon of paprika, half a cup of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, then whisk to incorporate all the ingredients. Now, combine 1 tablespoon of cornstarch with 3 ounces of rice wine vinegar. Mix into a slurry, add it to the sauce and bring the sauce to a gentle simmer. Continue whisking for about 5 minutes until the sauce thickens. After the sauce has thickened, remove from the heat and set it aside. And after 30 minutes, in a Dutch oven, add in about 6 cups of vegetable oil. Over medium-high heat, heat up the oil to 375 degrees. The magic number is 350 degrees, but as soon as you add the chicken, the temperature is going to drop. That's why we're heating up to 375. Then fry in batches about 6 to 8 minutes until crispy and golden brown. Once this chicken has been cooked, transfer onto a wire rack. And now to assemble, set a large skillet over high heat and add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, add in two cloves of garlic minced, followed by two teaspoons of minced ginger. Give that a quick stir and add the fried chicken. Add in half a large onion, diced, and about two to three scallions. Give that a quick toss. Add the orange chicken sauce and coat the chicken evenly in the sauce. Stir until all the ingredients are evenly coated, about two minutes. And that is it. You may serve over rice and enjoy. I like serving it with steamed broccoli and rice on the side. And to garnish it, I use sliced green onions. And now you are ready to eat my orange chicken better than takeout. There you guys have it orange chicken enjoy buen provecho and thanks for watching bye